Centurion is with us. Now, uh, welcome to the show, show, Centurion. Good to have you here tonight. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. So you, uh, to, to, I guess I'll give our listeners a little bit about you, because not everybody listening to the show may be uh, intimately familiar with uh, copblock.org. You happen to be uh, wearing the copblock t-shirt tonight, and it's a handmade, as, as I understand it, uh, copblock t-shirt. Our, our viewers uh, at home and at work or wherever they might be watching our webcam, they can see the front side of you. Uh, but maybe during uh, one of the uh, the commercial breaks, you can turn around for them because you can't see the cop block vi- uh, logo or the cop block wording is not on the front side of the shirt. But you actually handmade a cop block shirt. Yes, I did. It's uh, I specifically made it for the DUI checkpoint so I can be seen a little bit better. You know what? The DUI checkpoint things uh, that have been happening out in Manchester, New Hampshire, have been absolutely spectacular with 30 to 40 activists in the streets. They're opposing these uh, unconstitutional DUI checkpoints, this basically, you know, searching and harassing wholesale of anybody and everybody who comes through a particular intersection or stretch of road. Uh, you've been out there on the front lines of that, and uh, th- there's been just some amazing footage that's come out of it. And to to be able to have the activism seen here in New Hampshire to the point where the activists outnumber the police at an at an operation like a checkpoint, a DUI checkpoint, where there's no shortage of cops. And police around. are feeling extremely defensive. Uh, are they? They even changed their tactics by stopping them before the checkpoint and after because we're so effective. Meaning, when you say stopping, you mean the cars? They were stopping yep, cars? They're, they're moving regular cruises be ahead of us to actually start <laughs> randomly pulling over people. So the interesting thing is, you know, they'll probably start changing their tactics a little bit over time, but so can the activists. And it seems like the the numbers are growing. I know it was 30 people at uh, one of the first ones this summer, and then 40 people at the next one or something. That's what I've heard. I actually haven't been out because it's Friday nights. Uh, you know, I'm usually on the air. So I don't get the pleasure of going to see it in person, but I do get to see a video from Derek J over on his website, DerekJ.me. Yeah, Centurion's basically the face of cop block in this town now. I mean, he's uh, been doing it for 18 months, two years, something like that. And uh, Sounds right. Yeah, dedicated. Definitely. I mean, I've, you and I have been out a number of times on the streets uh, in Keene here and, you know, giving young people... Know your rights information, and uh, it's been very, very successful. They have a huge, huge following with Keene State College and the college kids. Especially the girls, man. They they love you. <laughs> <laughs> you've got like this uh, helmet. You're a, a veteran, and you've got this uh, helmet that sort of you Velcro your camera and your your flashlight up there. And yep. I mean, you're ready. It's you're, a little bit cinematic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're ready to go out. I mean, it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. So we can talk more about you know expertise on cop block related matters. Matters. You certainly are no stranger to it. In fact, you've kind of done a little bit of a tour yourself. I mean, we've had Pete Ayer on the show, one of the founders of Cop Block, uh, here. Of course, for our listeners that don't know, Cop Block is what? How would you describe uh, Cop Block, Centurion? It's decentralized uh, with many, many different opinions, you know, many, many different ideologies. And it's just great to be a part of a, a collective group that presses for accountability and, and, uh, you know, make sure that people know their rights, what they what they can, and, you know, what their rights are, and so they can tell the police, no, you can't search me. You can't automatically do that because you have a badge. You can't automatically pull me off my porch because you have a badge or search my person. And and that's extremely important, not only for the police to know, but you know, for for people that don't know their rights, you know. Yeah, another thing is is that um, police around the country, <clears throat> oftentimes uh, they, they pretty much feel like they can do whatever they want exactly. because essentially no one will question them. Mm-hmm. But when you have a group of people, especially concentrated in one area, that are asking questions and questioning, is that an order? Is that a lawful order, or are you just asking me here? Um, you're gonna. It's it's a pushback. It 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 has it it makes them less likely to just try it with anybody to to get whatever they want because they're not used to getting whatever they want every um, every time. And I think that that in and of itself is important. The the founders talked about. An active citizenry. They wanted people to question the government, and uh, nobody does anymore. So you can get involved over at Cop Block. Check them out at uh, copblock.org. And, of course, Centurion's uh, highly involved with Keen Cop Block. You know, there's no real leader 
to Keen Cop Block, but you are certainly somebody who puts a lot of hours in, and so <laughs> yeah, uh, you're definitely there and you're doing it, and I appreciate that. Joining you in the studio tonight, I'm Ian Centurion from Keen Cop Block and Mark. And Cop Block, you know, you're not just Keen Cop Block Centurion; you've been all over the place. Then you go down to Cleveland to uh, help those guys out. Yep, Cleveland with Do and the in the guys. Yep. Kind of went on a little tour. Was that the only place you've been, no, or did you stop Columbus, off in some other Atlanta, places? and Bridgeport too? Bridgeport, Connecticut. And, were you uh, touring on your own, or were you with Pete, or how did that just work Just meetups. Okay. Yeah, just uh, individual meetups. And folks can go to copblock.org and get uh, sort of, there's like a map there, I think, with a bunch of the different locations of yep. cop blocks all around the country. Of course, cop block is a, a project, a decentralized project to help hold the police accountable. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 